Manchester City has once again shown that they are a huge force to reckon with in the transfer market after splashing a whopping 60 million euros for one of Europe's most feared strikers in Erling Haaland from Borussia Dortmund. The addition of Erling Haaland to the Manchester City team has now raised Pep Guardiola's net spending on incoming transfer at the Etihad-based club to an excess of 1 billion euro. However, it will interest you to know that not all of their big money signings have been successful, as the likes of Nolito, Jack Grealish, Benjamin Mendy, among others, have all struggled to live up to their huge transfer fees at Manchester City. The big question now is, will Erling Haaland be among the big money flops at the Etihad? This video will be looking at 5 reasons why Haaland could be another big money flop at Manchester City. Let's go! Number 1. Injury record One major factor that could go a long way in affecting Erling Haaland's career at Manchester City is his long-standing injury record as a football player. The 21-year-old striker hasn't been the luckiest of players when it comes to avoiding injuries and staying fit, as he has been very much frequent on the injury table in recent years. Erling Haaland has missed a combined total of 203 days of football action due to various injuries suffered throughout his career. Haaland has picked up eight different injuries at Borussia Dortmund between the 2019 and 2022, ruling him out for a combined total of 146 days. The Norwegian striker has suffered from several injury setbacks such as knee problems, torn muscle fiber, muscle problems, hip flexor problems, ligament abdominal muscle injuries, among others. While it's still early to tag Erling Haaland as an injury-prone player, it will be interesting to see how he copes at Manchester City, as he could be another Sergio Aguero in disguise who was heavily afflicted with injuries during his time at the Etihad Stadium. Number 2. Guardiola False 9 System Erling Haaland will have a whole lot of work to do at Manchester City as Pep Guardiola is one manager who is renowned for not needing a recognized striker in his team. One will only wonder how the Spanish tactician intends to use early Haaland as he is known to deploy a false nine approach in his attack, which could have a negative impact on Haaland's career as a striker. Pep Guardiola has a very long list of players whom he has deployed in false nine roles during his career as a manager and some of them include the likes of Pedro Rodriguez, Cech Fabregas, Lionel Messi, Mario Gotze, Phil Foden, Raheem Sterling, among others. It was his philosophy during his time at Barcelona that promoted former Spanish head coach Vicente del Bosque to adopt the false nine system in 2010 as Spain won the FIFA World Cup in South Africa. It will also interest you to know that a couple of renowned strikers have also struggled or had issues with Pep Guardiola at some point in their careers. Examples are the likes of Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Samuel Eto'o, Alexis Sanchez, Mario Mandzukic, and not forgetting Manchester City legend Sergio Aguero. Judging by such attendance, Erling Haaland could probably be another high-profile striker who could once again flop under Pep Guardiola if he can't convince the Spanish tactician to ditch his long-time tactics, but only time will tell. Number 3. The Bundesliga tax In case you are wondering what the Bundesliga tax is all about, well, it is a football myth which believes that stats from players in the Bundesliga could be really deceiving, as players from the league most times tend to flop in the English Premier League. Top footballers such as Hadon Sancho, Bastian Schwensteiger, Sebastian Haller, Lukas Podolski, Marco Marin, Henrich Mkhitaryan, Shinji Kagawa and the likes are classical examples of players who dominated the German Bundesliga but flopped in the Premier League. Another big question is, will the Bundesliga tax also play out on Manchester City's new striker Erling Haaland? 
He seems to have dominated the Bundesliga, breaking records and scoring goals for fun, with a total of 85 strikes for Borussia Dortmund. Will he be able to replicate such form in the Premier League? Only time will tell, but should he eventually fail to do so, Erling Haaland will definitely fall into the category of the flop signings at Manchester City. Number 4. Physicality of the Premier League Obviously, the English Premier League is way tougher and more technical than the German Bundesliga, judging by various yardsticks. The physical nature of the English league makes it even much more difficult for strikers to get a sniff at goal and would require a great technical ability to bang as many goals in the English Premier League. This could be a deciding factor for Erling Haaland at Manchester City as he wouldn't be allowed much time on the ball or space to run in between opposing defenders as he has always done in the Bundesliga with Borussia Dortmund. A clear example of one striker who has struggled from the huge difference between the two leagues is Chelsea striker Timo Werner. The German forward was scoring goals for fun at RB Leipzig prior to his move to England in 2020 to join London side Chelsea. During an interview in his first season in England, Werner stated, I have been brought down to earth, as you can never have a quiet game in England. The players are 1.9 meters tall, brutal physically and really fast including the defenders. The intensity in the Premier League is impressive. The big question is, will Haaland be able to cope with such huge demands of the English Premier League? Can he match the physicality? Time will tell. Number 5. Pressure from the media When it comes to pressure from the press, it doesn't get any easier than in England and Manchester City's new striker Erling Haaland will have to cope with all the razzmatazz that comes with playing in the Premier League. Definitely, all eyes will be on the 21-year-old goal poacher who has already been tagged as the missing piece of the puzzle under Pep Guardiola at Manchester City. Hopes are high that early Haaland will be able to help Manchester City land the very much coveted Champions League trophy, which has eluded the club in the recent years, of which will put more pressure on Haaland's shoulders. At a very young age of 21, how Erling Haaland will be able to handle all the possible criticism that will come from both the press, football pundits and even the fans will go a long way in determining whether or not he will succeed or flop at Manchester City. What do you make of Erling Haaland transferred to Manchester City? Do you think he will flop or bangs goals at City? Please do well to drop your opinions in the comment section below this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss our future videos.